Well, here's the setup that we've been dealing with. High pressure has been in control for the past several days. That's why it's been so nice and sunny. Now low pressure is moving closer and closer. We're going to see more cloud cover. We did see some clouds today. Yesterday was cloud free, but today some high clouds. And then by Tuesday, not just clouds, but thunderstorms, some of them potentially severe. The highest risk for severe weather on Tuesday is pretty far to our north in parts of Iowa and northern Missouri, but we are still under that level two out of potentially five levels. So on the low side, but still severe weather is something we need to take very seriously and pay attention to. So Tuesday is the next day that you're going to need to be weather aware, having ways to receive warnings and paying attention to the weather just overall. Let's time out those storms. So Monday morning, I want to pause it to show you that you don't have to worry about thunderstorms tomorrow. Monday will be dry for the most part. More clouds and warm starting in the mid 60s and warming to around 80 and dry. Like I said, still no rain by the afternoon. We could see a few showers around 9 10 PM in northwestern Arkansas, central Arkansas. I'm keeping us dry all day long. Tuesday, I cannot say the same thing in the morning. Thunderstorms will likely start firing up in western Arkansas. They don't look too bad here and they probably won't be, but as they move further east, they tap into a little bit more energy, a little bit more fuel, and you can see a line of thunderstorms. Some of those could be severe, which means they could produce damaging winds, hail, or even tornadoes. All three of those will be possible on Tuesday. That system gets out of here and we do get at least one day off on Wednesday. I'll we'll talk more about the next systems in a bit, but let's talk about the risks, the severe weather risks that we're concerned about on Tuesday, mainly hail, gusty winds. The tornado risk is not zero, but is very low. I do. I'm happy that I can say that it's very low, but again, not zero. So we need to be watching out for that on Tuesday. Now let's talk about the next storm chances because there's going to be multiple Wednesday's dry, but then on Thursday, another storm system with a cold front will swing through. Now the storm prediction center hasn't issued any severe weather risk for Thursday yet. They haven't issued one yet, but any time a cold front goes through this time of year, I'm concerned about severe weather chances. Then we'll see another area of low pressure move in on Saturday and then move out of here by Sunday. That's three chances for thunderstorms within the next seven days. So you need to be weather aware each and every one of them. Download the Arkansas Storm Team app if you haven't. If you don't have time to scan this code right now, Go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and type in Arkansas Storm Team and you'll see it there. Our dash heating, cooling, and plumbing camera having a little bit of trouble right now, but it's beautiful out there. Plenty of sunshine and it's warm 78 degrees still here in Little Rock. We're not going to cool down very much tonight. Low of 62 will be dry. The crane team impact number is a zero both tonight and on Monday. Monday getting to around 83 with higher humidity, so it's going to feel warmer than 83. Monday will probably feel like one of the warmest days of the entire work week, even though we'll likely get to 86 on Wednesday. And that's all due to the humidity and that humidity is going to fuel the storms on Tuesday. Notice I did take the rain chance down a little bit Tuesday just because if there are severe thunderstorms, it will only be one or two of them. It won't be widespread.